So this is still day two of like cleaning. But um yeah. So let me tell you what happened. <laughs> so my brother was gonna come to the apartment with me today and help me clean, right? He got up, well no, I got up, I got ready, then I got him up, and he was like, Yeah, I'm gonna just meet you over there. And I was like, All right, cool. So I went to my storage first because of course I was looking to see if I had my Swiffer, which I think I threw my Swiffer in the trash. Um, so I, I couldn't find it. So I was like, okay, cool. It's no problem. There is a Swiffer in the apartment, but it just doesn't work because it needs batteries. So I stopped at the gas station, got me a little coffee, got me some high ass batteries. <laughs> I would never pay that much for that. Got me some batteries and I was just like, please let these be the fit and everything. I was like, all right, other than that, I'm good. I don't need nothing else. And then he texted me. He let me know he wasn't going to come because really he had uh, he had went to the gym with somebody and they didn't get back to the house until like 2 a.m. So I was like, it's cool. You good. I ain't really got to do too much. All I had to do was like wipe down some stuff and... Uh, I went ahead and took the trash bags that I had outside and yeah, that was pretty, that was it. I just needed to take the trash out. I wanted to sweep again. I wanted to mop, um, wipe down some, wipe down some, uh, walls, wipe down some, um, wipe down some cabinets. I also wanted to vacuum the window seals and stuff. So it wasn't a whole bunch of stuff to where it's like, I really needed help, but at the same time, I could use help, right? But I was like, it's cool, you good, do you. See this? See this? You see this? This, this. When I got out of my car, I had just texted my brother and told him it was cool, he was good, I didn't need his help. When I got out of the car, for whatever reason, it was like I was in a daze and I was mesmerized by the freaking door. And I was just staring at the door. And when I went to go close my door, my car door, I just didn't let that bitch go. I didn't let it go. And my finger got caught in the door. I closed my finger in the door, but I did not slam. Let's be, let's be frank. I did not slam my finger in the door. I just closed the door and I did not let go of the door. And as soon as I did it, I was like, ow. And at first I didn't realize anything. I was like, wait, did I just slam my... Because I was able to, even with the door closed, I was able to pull my finger out. I didn't have to open the door to pull my finger out the door. Plus my hand was behind me anyway. So that would have been really bad. But, um... But, uh... Yeah, child, I close my finger in the door so I'm outside for like 15 minutes pretty much trying to just nurse my finger because it's starting to it's cut the way that I closed it in the door wherever I closed it at whatever I hit it cut the fingernail like real close to the cuticle in a sense but it cut into the fingernail like the nail bed and then so there was a line there and it was immediately like a pool of blood like it immediately started bleeding and then once I got it to like stop pooling on top of my finger, um, it coagulated and did what it did and closed it off. And I was like, okay. But there's a clear cut in my fingernail. And there is <laughs> blood started collecting underneath my nail bed and I could see it. And I was like, oh God. But I put a band aid on it and I've just been going through what I've been going through, if you will. <laughs> I have just been doing it. I didn't want to call my brother back and be like, hey, I need help. Can you come over here? Because I slammed my finger in the door. I could have called him, but I was like, no, I'm just going to chill. Um, but I went ahead and did what I could. My shit was throbbing, though, and it started swelling like fast. And that's all I was worried about. And then I realized, I think, did I have to? Yes. I ended up having to, um, I forgot I had left out all the things for the the refrigerator like all the shelves and everything i took everything out because it needed to be clean the refrigerator was clean but the shelves and shit wasn't clean so i had to wash that and then i had to after i washed it i had to dry it put it back in the fridge 
Um, then I had to wipe down the counters and stuff and wipe down the doors and the cabinets and everything. I think the only thing I didn't wipe down was the top ones, but I got all the bottom ones and then I got wiped. I started wiping down sides of the, the sink. I mean, not the sink, I'm sorry, the stove. Then after that, <laughs> I, uh, I was sweeping a little bit more. I mopped the whole entire house finger throbbing nonstop. I was going in between. Thank goodness it was a Swiffer child because I wasn't going to be able to wring nothing I had. I had the mop that I really wanted to bring in there, which I still need to get. I still need to get it, but it's going to be a minute before I can use that bitch. Um, but I was able to mop the whole entire house and I did that pretty much either with two hands or with this hand just on top of my head and I was just trying to get it. I was just trying to get into it. But I did a pretty good job clean the bathroom, clean the blinds. There was like a lot of fuzz and dust and stuff on the blinds. So I cleaned the blinds off. Um, I vacuumed the blinds. Then I wiped them down with water, bleach and stuff. Then I dried them. That This hand was working, okay? This hand was working. And I was just like, I don't understand. You know me, I feel like everything happens for a reason. There are no such thing as coincidences. Shit be happening for a reason. And I was like, there's a reason I slammed my finger. You make that another school? Anyway, I was like, there's a reason why I slammed my finger in this door. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's it's me needing to ask for help or me just persevering through hard times, bitch. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But, man, when I tell you, finger just on swole it was just ridiculous it's just horrible <laughs> it's just horrible right now my finger is throbbing and I gotta go back now to go get the vacuum bring my dad his stool back where he realized that shit is missing because he's back in his bag of tricks right now like he started his shit yesterday and I was I was not really paying attention to it too much yesterday because yesterday was his wife's birthday and you know he lost his wife so i was like you know on top of him already still grieving himself just by himself um it's her birthday you know what i'm saying i know that's got to be tough as well so and i'm pretty sure he was trying to keep it together for my brothers and everything but instead of him crying or sitting and dealing with the shit he gets he uses anger i don't like it but that's what, how he chooses to do. He's stuck in the anger part of grief. Grief has, you know, many stages. He's stuck in anger. Um, but, yeah, I don't know if this has anything to do with that situation. Or I can't even say it's for me to slow down because I don't feel like I'm doing anything too fast. If I was moving way too fast or something, or I was trying to carry too much or do too much or whatever... I can see why it happened but I literally was in slow motion doing everything like I wasn't in a rush I was looking at everything that I had to take inside thinking about what I had in the back to take inside and I was like okay well I'm gonna take this and then I'm gonna come back out and I'm gonna grab this like I wasn't trying to put too much in my hands I wasn't messing with my phone I wasn't distracted while this happened or nothing I just kind of was like in a little bit of a daze or haze if you will as I was trying to get this done but it was it was Oh my gosh, when I did it, I was just like, ow. I, <laughs> I will never forget how I said it. It was like I was annoyed by what had happened. I was like, ow, ow. Oh, wow, that's something. I just got to my aunt's house because I'm picking up my daughter. Um, She's been over here for almost four days, y'all. <laughs> She's been over here with her cousin. But I was getting ready to pick up my daughter, which I'm still getting ready to pick her up. And my aunt has her mom, who's my grandmother, she passed away some years back. Um, she has her van in her yard. And the name of the van is a part of the reason why or how I came up with Eudodicy. So it's very funny to see that right there. That's interesting. Very interesting. But yes, um, I'm going to get off of here right now. Like I said, I'm picking up my daughter. Then I need to go to the stores and grab a couple more things for the apartment that's not in there. Um, and 
and then I need to what else do I need to do well, then we're gonna head to the apartment I'm gonna take the girls to the apartment for the first time so the little ones this is their nap time they napping in the car and I'm picking up my daughter really because I will let her stay but I need help and my dad's back at the house and he's cutting up and I need help I gotta go to the store to pick up some things so I need help <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm gonna need her to just sit in the car with the kids and stuff like that while I go in the store because I don't want to move them around. Plus, my finger with my finger hurting the way that it does, baby, I've been angry. So I'm not trying to go off on my churn because my churn ain't did nothing. It ain't their fault. It's my fault. But I'm just trying to handle this in the best way that I know how. But yes. All right, that's an update for right now. What is going on? It's from that chapstick. That chapstick I had. Okay. Yes, that is an update for right now. Um update coming soon you already know what's going on with your